My name is Kevin Sullivan, Vice President of Engineering for Keurig, and here I'd like to demonstrate for you the B70 at-home brewer. Uh, this brewer is the top of the line model, sold at retail today. When you turn the brewer on, the water inside the tank heats up and we have a large cold water reservoir that allows up to 10 cups to be stored. The process is to choose. First you choose your coffee, insert it in the machine. When the K-cup is inserted into the receiver and the mechanism is closed, there are two needles, one top and one bottom, that pierce the top and bottom. This allows the water to be pumped in the top through the bed of coffee, out through the filter, and then down through the exit needle. What this does is ensures that all of the brewing takes place inside the cup so that there's no contamination of the brewer. It only enters through the upper needle and lower needle. So the brew platform is clean. If someone were to come in and have now tea, they wouldn't get that taste of coffee. So here you see the, the filter that's inserted inside. It's suspended inside the cup and welded. The coffee is added inside and the amount of coffee is carefully controlled by the packaging equipment. And then we finally put a lid on. The entire package is backfilled with nitrogen so that there's no oxygen. Coffee is very vulnerable to staling and oxygen is what causes it to get stale. These vessels are good for over nine months so after nine months there's still very low levels of oxygen and you still get a fresh cup of coffee. The Keurig Brewer unlike other drip type coffee makers is equipped with a microprocessor that controls all of the operation. So the way that we ensure you get the same cup of coffee time after time is we very tightly control the time, the temperature, and the volume of the water. The roaster will put the proper amount inside the K-cup but then what the brewer does is it takes that recipe and it makes sure that every time you get the same thing. So the time is how long it takes to brew. 45 seconds to one minute is the right amount of time to get proper extraction and taste. The temperature is critical. You always want that temperature controlled. The microprocessor controls the temperature in the tank to within one degree. So we make sure that it's 186 degrees as it hits the cup throughout the brew process. So the time, the temperature, and then finally the volume. And by volume, I mean the volume of water. What's critical to your cup of coffee is the ratio of water to coffee. Uh, and by controlling the volume of water to within five milliliters, we assure that we've always got the right amount of water flowing through the cup. Here you see the brew has started. Uh, all of our brewers brew the coffee in less than a minute. There you see the classic Keurig purge. It blows air through the coffee to get all of the water out and you get that nice sound and it increases the aromatics. And after choose and brew, it's enjoyed.